Karachi is famous for its architectural and heritage wonders dating back to the Mauryan times. This heritage town is home to one of the oldest Buddhist monuments, the Sanchi Stupa, built by Emperor Ashok in the 3rd century. But today, Sanchi is waking up to the possibilities of modern technology. Of late, there has been a push for solar cities where 100% of the demand can be met by renewables. Rooftop photovoltaic or RTPV can be a primary source in this energy basket. Hence, the Madhya Pradesh government is exploring the solar potential of Sarkia. One of India's leading research and technology-based think tanks, the Center for Study of Science, Technology and Policy, has undertaken the solar mapping of the state through aerial imagery. With India committing to its climate goals and increasing the fossil fuel-free capacity of 500 gigawatts, we are well on our way to a renewable energy future. C-STEP has embarked on a major program to increase the amount of rooftop photovoltaic systems in the urban areas of India. We do it by mapping every roof of urban areas and estimating the rooftop photovoltaic potential which consumers can take advantage of and decide for themselves as to whether they would like to install rooftop photovoltaic systems on their roofs. We welcome other partners and other entities to join us in this journey to making a renewable energy future and increasing the rooftop photovoltaic potential and commitment for India. Drones are being deployed to accurately map the solar potential of every building in the city. High resolution evil imagery captured through this exercise will be used to reconstruct a 3D model of Sarki. These images will be used for assessing the potential of rooftops to generate solar energy. So one of our primary research areas is how do we calculate the potential of a small rooftop or a big rooftop in a city when there are so many obstacles like trees, poles, neighboring buildings, etc. One of the technologies we use is high resolution aerial imagery, which essentially takes images either from drones or from high quality satellites or from light detection and ranging with helicopters. This essentially helps you to reconstruct the city in a 3D model with 5 centimeter or below resolutions. Now what that allows you to do is it allows you to capture the shadow effects of small objects like these trees or anything else that is falling on the roof and thereby remove that area from the roof when it comes to the rooftop design. Our Final product is a tool where any consumer which has been covered in the area that we have flown in can log into the tool and simply click on or identify his or her rooftop and see the resultant system design along with the business case. How that works is we work with a local discom to map the rooftop with the consumption of the user and thereby give a very detailed and accurate information pattern to the user. Based on this, the rooftop user or the rooftop customer can now make an investment decision after considering the pros and cons. The imagery thus captured by the drone will give an accurate estimation of the solar potential of a roof. It will also account for shading due to neighboring obstacles. This will help administrative authorities and house owners to pick up the feasible spots for the installation of solar panels. Several cities have been named as solar cities by the state and the central government. I think they can take a leaf out of Sachi's book and move with the times.